Thanks, Kat and Andrea. Welcome to the Social Media Report. We bring you the magic of the internet straight up onto your TV so that you can be more productive at the office, or at least have something to share. This Justin. Justin Bieber fever is running rampant in various parts of South Africa with teenagers voluntarily tweeting existent verbs, non-existent verbs like believe and hashtag believe a five, causing some serious Twitter and Facebook strain. Although dates, venues, and times are still unconfirmed, the sheer possibility of bumping into, seeing, or even smelling the performer has rendered South African teens incapable of living a normal life, let alone finish their matric exams. We urge all parents countrywide to keep their eyes on this possible pandemic. Signs of this terrible disease include crying uncontrollably, well of teens begging at the traffic lights for money to pay off for the tickets, and being glued to their PC screens, waiting for the tickets to become available online. And all you Justin Bieber fans, the breaking news this weekend is that the Gangnam Style music video has now taken over Justin Bieber's The Most Watched Video on YouTube. So there you go. The international trending stories from last week and over the weekend were unsurprisingly dominated by Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is a wonderful time in the US for giving thanks and uh, it's a great opportunity to do good. One of the biggest training uh, videos of last week was Epic Meal Time's charity event where they cooked meat. And I'm talking a lot of meat and donated to a soup kitchen. Just a quick warning uh, for sensitive viewers, there's a lot of meat. <laughs> we make a fast food lasagna, a boss baller bacon base, then a burger layer player, stuffing burgers, cheese, and sauce into a bin. That's how to cook like a boss. Fried onion circles, because rings are for lawyers. Whoa, greasy hands. Yeah, I shook hands with you earlier. Those hands ain't greasy, they're well lubricated. Just gotta make sure you touch them all. Real chefs touch the <laughs> shit out of their food. Make it bacon better with gravy and maple syrup. Dripping the sauce. Was that sexy? It's important to get all your food groups, even paper. Get that paper, Jimmy. Where's there a sexy pig's foot? Here, Show me a sexy pig's foot. Oh, yeah. Serving up epic meals to those who need it. But we didn't tell them about the epic <laughs> come out. I thought it was to die for. I thought it was the greatest. Uh, I've had a lot of meat here, a lot of stuff. I know sort of got back here from getting my food. And he chased me up there and said, go get me some more. You heard it the first time in three and a half years that he came for seconds. Bob, what do you think of that? Hey, what do you think of that? Delicious, right? Every week we take a Facebook fan or Twitter follower and give them the salute for showing Expresso all the support they do. This week's follower of the week goes to Rian Hendricks from Cape Town for commenting on this post of Rian Kreivachen on our Facebook wall. He let us know that his mom was such a visionary and she liked Rian Kreivachen so much that he was named after him. What a champion. We salute your mom, Rian. Have you ever wanted to take embarrassing photos of your colleagues and post them to Facebook and Twitter? Well, now you can. Today's app of the day is Nudifier, a free iPhone, iPod, and iPad app that allows you to pixelate your family and friends to make them look like you've caught them unawares. I thought I'd play a prank on Cat, and I've uploaded a nudified pic of him on Facebook. Uh, so go tell him what you think on our Facebook page. All of the stuff I've chatted about can be found on our Facebook page, Expresso Morning Show, and our Twitter account, at Expresso Show. So go and check it out for yourself. Leanne, what's happening inside the kitchen? What the <laughs> <that? laughs> <laughs>